Radiation is ubiquitous. Radiation is all around us. It's naturally occurring. Uh, you can't get away with it. Uh, life depends on having uh, radiation from the sun and from the earth, and uh, it's, uh, it's all around us. But it has to be treated with respect. It has to be handled safely. It's in every house, it's in every building. Uh, it's used uh, uh, throughout uh, uh, society. Uh, what we want to do is make sure that uh, people aren't confused by the, the terminology we might use as science, uh, scientists or engineers. Radiation safety is common in, in more workplaces than people think. It's not just the nuclear power industry, it's uh, uh, medical offices, x-ray clinics, vet clinics, um, transportation of goods. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's everywhere in today's modern society. And, uh, as part of that, we want to make sure that it's, it's done safely. Chemical has been working with the Radiation Safety Institute for more than 20 years. Uh, a lot of that time has been using the personal alpha decimeters that we're still using today. In those mines, wherever you have uranium, and it's everywhere, it's more common than gold, you have radon gas. The mining industry was the first major concern because the damage had been so great. A requirement for going underground for the, these uh, miners is to wear that personal alpha decimeter, so they'll clip it onto their belt, head underground. That unit <clears throat> has a little small fan that's drawing air through it and depositing dust on a filter and also tracking uh, radon progeny for us. So at the end of the day, they return those to the charging units where they stay and turn off and get charged for the next day's use. At the end of the month, we swap them all out send them off to the laboratories at the Radiation Safety Institute where the analysis is completed. For the personal alpha dosimetry service, we are the only dosimetry provider um, in North America. Having an independent third party such as the Radiation Safety Institute really gives credibility to the results we're getting. And our concern with the radon gas is potential risk of developing lung cancer. And according to Health Canada, 16% of all lung cancers in Canada are due to radon and according to the World Health Organization and many other organizations internationally, radon is the second leading cause of cancer after smoking. We try to emphasize to workers that there is no way to have zero exposure to radiation since we find it in the environment anyways, but that there are ways to reduce or minimize their exposure to workplace radiation sources to a level where it really wouldn't be of a health concern. Our hope is to put it into realistic perspective so that they're not afraid of the radioactive sources that they're working with. 